Hello and welcome to King Cole. It's been a long time. As you know, I'm Susan and this is Joanne. Hello. Hello. It's been ages, hasn't it? It has. It has an awful lot. Yeah, I know. Time. And look yeah. at the hair, COVID <laughs> hair. Yeah. I, I had never mind. hair last time you saw me. Yeah. Very short. Um, right. So today. On today's thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We've got baby stripe DK um, today to show you. It's 100% premium acrylic. It's beautiful. Got, it is. It's really nice. You've got 290 meters per 100 gram ball. You will use four millimeter needles. Uh, for most of the knitting of this one and it's a standard DK tension. So you've got your 22 stitches, T28 rows um, for a 10 centimetre square. Um, you can 40 degree machine wash. It will tumble dry on a low temperature. Obviously we don't recommend bleaching at all. No. <laughs> um, and we don't recommend ironing on this one if you are wanting to sort of do the equivalent of ironing, you need to block it. Yes. Um, so so don't iron, but you can block. So the new, new colour range, um, baby blue. And this one is more, it's quite a turquoise I think blue. it's more turquoise, more of a duck egg, but it is yeah, a nice blue. It would, it would definitely work for girl. Girl yeah. or boy, that one, um, but love, lovely colours in it. Then we have a nice traditional grey, which we've called Baby Silver. Yep. In that one. Um, a lovely set of pinks. This has got sort of two or three shades of, of pink in on the white base, and that one, obviously, Baby Pink. Yep. We haven't got anything too too crazy on the names on these ones. No, we haven't. <laughs> <laughs> They're not food for no. once. <laughs> um, baby Lilac on that one so you've yep. got some quite nice strong um, sections of it and then some paler ones running through and we'll show this you this is the, the one with the imagination sure. yeah they had to be careful with this one i'm going to let you think about why we've called this imagine. baby pebble yeah and it is the brown <laughs> it is the brown one and then finally we have um it's sort of a peppermint green this one which they've simply called baby green but it's I think it is a peppermint yeah, green. Yeah, it's peppermint. Yes. I think we should call that one peppermint. So we're thinking of food. nobody my opinion at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and we're back I? to food. Yeah. Do I? <laughs> and we have six patterns with this one in six shades. So we do. Do we you do. want, I'll hold up your pattern and yep. you go first. If you would. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It's pattern 5704. So yeah. do you want to talk about um, this it's one? It's the grey one. Definitely, um, I say for, definitely for a boy. It's not. You can use it for a girl. I'll start off with a little blanket. So it's kind of it's not quite a basket weave pattern on this it's only a little they're so a little cute one. it's probably more your car seat size on this one or something that they could carry around quite easily yeah um throw on the ground good and view of how the striping works on that which which i like it for showing how it, it's definitely random um don't try matching things up you will drive yourself insane um, yes, so, <laughs> and we yeah. do have people that do like perfection. Yeah. Not with this. Yeah, no, I'm going to hold it, this so you get, can see get all the items for it. You really would drive yourself potty. Yeah, um, lovely little over jacket with a little fold back um, neckline on that one. It's in the same the same patterning, um, yeah. and you can see quite clearly here how you, your patterning doesn't match up. So just go with it. Uh, you know, enjoy the fact that it, it is random, um, and yeah. we've put some. Quite nice little boyish type buttons on that one. If you wanted to make it more girly, we do things like silver sparkly buttons and things too. Yeah, and they are our buttons as well. They are, definitely. So I had to have a look because I was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I should know. Yeah. Well, you can't know everything. We've got, we've got no. quite a big, big stock range. So this one's a nice little hoodie. So again, the patterning is in the main part of the coat and then a fairly plain hood and sleeves. Yeah, and, and this is one of the few patterns with raglan sleeves yeah. as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, little toggles on that one just for a change. Um, of course, you can put on whatever you like with yep. that one. And then the There's most gorgeous little little hat. I've squashed the bobble. That's not great. Um, anyway, if I haven't squashed the bobble. So again, the patterning around the bottom and then we've moved into stocking stitch at the top just to make it a little yeah. bit easier. Um, not exactly easy knit. No, um, there's not one I would call an easy knit no. in this. This is definitely for much more experienced yeah. knitters. Yeah, there's quite a lot intermediate. of lacy, intricate patterns. Thing. There's yeah. like the honeycomb. We'll get on to that. But just to clarify, if you're a beginner, mm, yeah, this wait is probably, a bit, please. This is probably know? not the, the pattern range for you yet. Yeah. Um, this one At some point, yeah. Little openings down the raglan. Um, 
most of, of this little jumper is easy knit but until you get to this section yeah. and then that's definitely a bit more technical um so again these are some of our our button range we've got other colors in these so if you wanted to knit this in you know pink or whatever we've got little buttons to match sure, sure. and they really are lovely so that's that's the gray range I okay just swap that round and okay next yeah okay so on susan's side we have got five seven zero three and it's so adorable look at these little mints yeah. I can't get over them. Would you say they're, they're scratch mitts? They are scratch mitts, yeah. yeah. There's, there's it's no been a long time, all right, like folks? So, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely little scratch mitts there. This is adorable. Cute. Look at this vest. I, when my son was little, I could totally picture him in something like this. And he loved little vests and yeah. stuff, too. So yeah. it's adorable. And again, all the buttons on this one are from our range. Yeah. Um, we, we just thought with those, the little wooden buttons go so beautifully. They do, with the lovely brown and stuff. And mm. As you can see, it's not really lined up, but it's that's how it should be. It's adorable. Yeah. Can you believe there were this little ones? Yeah. I always think that. And this one, <laughs> absolutely adorable. Look at that. With Quite the little textured buttons as well. Um, hopefully yeah. you can see that on the on the film. The, there is a definite textured pattern running through this, They're which again is why it's not, yeah. not easy knit. Yes. Because um, so. it's... it's it can be quite easy to go wrong on some of the textured patterns. You do have to just oh, concentrate yes. a little bit. I think that's why this one's good that it has the inset sleeve so you don't have yeah. to worry too much about the decreases. Yeah, trying to do a raglan with, with yeah. some of the stitch patterns would be quite hard and oh, fiddly. Yeah. So setting sleeves can, can be really They're helpful. They're godsend at times, you know? Yep. Because I can tell you from this, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this one as well with the button at the back. This one's like a little more basic, but it has the textured sleeves and the round neck and the cute little details yeah. of the bun yeah. and another hat. They're all lovely. Wouldn't you love something like this if you had a baby as a set? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. And this one's adorable too with the detail around yeah. the rim. And then a fold back rim on that one. Yeah, it's a, adorable. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean... I, I don't want to be a grandma for a while, so we're not dropping that hint. But, yeah. you know, <laughs> one day. Yeah. Next one. Okay. Right. So it's pattern four. I can't even speak today. 5702. Mm -hmm. We got there. And this one is in the blue. So they've actually done yeah, um, I'll turn it this, back. this turquoise blue in the girl's style, which um, Gorgeous. I, I really like. So there's a lovely little lacy edging on the cuffs and on the bottom. Um, and then it goes into obviously the, the plain knitting and there is, because you don't want these too tight, baby's heads are actually quite big. They are big. They? Um, compared to the, the rest of the body and so there's a little button detail in there so you can open that up to get it over the baby's head. Yeah. Um, so don't so, be thinking it's too small around the neckline, you're going to strangle the baby yeah, putting it on. Um, and, and you can obviously make that a slightly bigger um, section if you feel that would be better for, yeah. for the child you're making it for. Cause Babies don't come in one size. They're, they've got various Quirks. sizes of body and heads. Yes. <laughs> so if you know the baby's going to need a little bit more, by all means, make that opening a little bit bigger. It's it's at that point that you can choose. Yeah. So uh, always remember with a with a knitting pattern, there's little points where you can you can adjust. adjust. If you're if you're knitting this, you're an experienced knitter, so you'll probably know this stuff anyway. And then look at those booties. booties. Oh my! They're they're gorgeous. Um, do they come in two sizes? I can't remember. I'll have a one. look. Which That's a good one? question, right? With the booties. Do, 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 booties. Yeah. I should know this. I can't find them on the pattern. I'm the so sorry. Right no. Oh, we'll we, have to look we it up don't later. know. We'll have to look it up later. That one. Oh, no, there's three sizes. There's three. premature, zero yeah. to three months, and three to six. Oh, okay, yeah. Nothing like us being prepared, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you... When you start to suddenly ask a question mid, mid I know, I know when you're thinking. <laughs> so actually that does show two of the sizes there, which is why they look slightly different sizes. You've got a, a smaller and a medium one. Um, but again, really cute. And they've got these little ties round. Um, Just as well. My son always had his booties yeah, off, they, they honestly. Kick them off quite easily, don't they? Yeah, so you've come home with one. Little ties. Um, then beautiful little cardigan based similar to the jumper. So you've got the little raglan raglan sleeves um, lovely bit of lace around the bottom and again these are these are from our button range so if you're looking for those buttons we we do supply them and again loving the the random bit on this one the gorgeous it's, it's you know great. when they're in a close like this you can forgive them for the sleepless nights you can kind of ish yeah <laughs> <laughs> this one is actually as well um 
it's knit in one piece up as far as the sleeves. If I just open that, you can see that there's no oh, side tea. seam. There's no side oh, seam. Oh, that's great. Yes. So you knit it in one piece at the armholes. We don't have many patterns like you. that. Yeah, you knit the different sections. So that yeah. that's really, really nice. Um, oh, and oh. then matinee, little matinee coat um, with this one. So oh, how again, adorable they really are! Nice. You just get to carry the lace on so much further. And um, again, this one, it's as quite traditional with a matinee coat that you knit all the bottom in one piece. So again, there's no joins at the side. You just yeah. knit in one one oblong till you get to where the sleeves split off. Yes, because so, I can tell you from experience with knitting lace and joining seams. Mm, not, it's not the easiest. It isn't. It. I mean, no. we're talking from experience wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. right. Yeah. My next Maybe. one's the I lilac. Mm -hmm. I think this is adorable. Yeah, this I is just, pattern. everything about this, I love. Five, I love seven, the zero, texture. One. Yeah. This one. And I love the v-neck, the lace detailing, mm -hmm. and just everything about this is adorable. And look, it's kind of like the nice detail on the back. Mm -hmm. with a bit it's of textured belled. and lace, so this is definitely an experienced knitter oh, one. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. And it, with bubbles, yeah. everything, all it's these everything little details, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. If you want a challenge, here you go. Yeah. So it, there's that and this the lovely hat. The hat, probably not so much, apart hmm. from when you come probably to the shape. And, yeah. But I love the little bobble details, you know? Yeah. But partly on that as well, um, it's got the, the knit one, pearl one, moss stitch section. But then when you get to the crown at the top, Thankfully it's going to the stitch. stitch. Yes. Because <laughs> it's impossible when you're decreasing to keep the Oh, you'd the have like weird random ribs and all sorts of things, mm. wouldn't you? Yes. We, yeah. know, we so, know enough about so this. So that's intentional. <laughs> yeah. And the cute little... You don't need to see my face, but this is adorable. Mm -hmm. I would call it a little pram blanket. Yep. And it has the bobbles at the end. Yep. I think this one would be an easy knit, but not the yep. rest of it. It's knit as well with the yarn double. I yes, it is. That one. That's so correct. That's how it looks a bit more chunky. It is, and it feels lovely mm -hmm. and warm and soft. There's loads. There's so much patterns nice. with, I mean, I can speak. So many garments with the patterns, mm. right? And another one. Oh, there's two V-necks. My apologies. I thought there's the little vest. Look at this. Yeah. So How cute. adorable is that? So cute. So, yeah. yeah, and it's a little crossover as well, isn't yeah. it? With a um, little crossover I sort of waistcoat on that one. And I love the little details like here, mm -hmm. like with the final edging and everything. Yeah. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just beautiful little garments. They are. Right. Okay, pink. pink. So, five, seven, five, seven, zero, zero. Yeah. And this one, it says easy lace, but again, we're stressing not for beginners. It's not easy knit, it's an easy lace. And we say that because, I'll use the hat as an example, so that's a gorgeous little hat. So basically you're casting on and you're working without any increasing or decreasing up to um, the crown. this rim section, the crown section. And then you go into there's some reverse stocking stitch and then some stocking stitch. So the, the lace stops when the decreasing starts. Sensible. So that's that's why we've um, given it an easy lace um, yeah. label rather than rather than anything else. Uh, again, some more little booties. These are just just gorgeous to do. A little bit of lace at the top and these lovely little twirly ties. Um, they're to, just so sweet, you know. Yeah, or you could use ribbons if yeah. you'd rather use ribbon on that one. Uh, we don't tend to put ribbons around the neck for obvious reasons, but it works I can't really imagine. nicely on the um, on the booties. Then and that's the, a disclaimer, by the way. We don't uh, want yeah. choking babies before <laughs> you think of babies. advocating that. Would that. Be the nightmare. Um, so with this one, actually, it's not knit in one piece. There is a definite seam. But the it's size. still adorable, But again, honestly. you're doing all the lace before you do any shaping. Yeah. So you cast on, you can follow the lace patterns all the way up, and then as, as they go onto the stocking stitch, um, you've you've got the, the shaping appears, and there's a lovely raglan set on there so that you've got a lovely place for, for sewing up and getting a nice, neat seam. So, uh, yeah. Is the ribbon yeah. actually done in one piece, or is that done separately? This, Sorry, I'm asking questions. This, this, no, this one's the one where the, there is a... No, at the edge, at the front. Is that ribbon? Is oh. that a mock rib? Um, yes, it is a mock rib, looking at that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it is. I thought so. At the same, at the same time yeah. as, so as the lace. So, yes, yeah. you don't have to pick up. Because I know people, some people, myself included, picking up ribbon don't on lace it. is a... 
don't enjoy it. <laughs> no, but I love the finished product, but doing it is quite tricky, yeah, isn't it? it so, is. so I had to ask. <laughs> yeah. So then little lace, sort of lace tabardy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, little lace. My tabardy. voice goes up, sorry. They're just so sweet, these things. When yeah. I saw them, I was like. And again, you've got the little the details. detail so that you can get it over the heads without, um, without upsetting them. So yeah. You say that. Have a, a lovely little, lovely, in fact, that, that is a lovely little set, isn't it? Where yeah. you've got the cardigan that would then sit on top of the dress. Show it both ways. So I think that that's just adorable. They and are. then got the little little cardigan. There's so many things with these patterns, there you know. Is, there is. You get a ton of options with these patterns. Yes. So hopefully there's something on, on those for, for everyone. Well, if um, not, then why are you buying it, you know? Because yeah. <laughs> they're so adorable. Yeah. Okay. Now you're on to my the last, last one, one. Which is the green on five six double nine. And it's all honeycomb, right? Yes. And the blanket, isn't this adorable? I think this is not a TV knit. I can tell you from knitting a honeycomb hat mm. that, yeah, you, you, you do need, need to, to concentrate, concentrate on this one. Really? Yes. yes, but it's adorable, it isn't is it? And look how it's very I warm. Because there's, there's a lot of thickness to yes, this. Yes, so it is. It's very warm. It's gorgeous. Um, yeah, love, love. I don't know what else to say about it apart from my love texture <laughs> and you're just touching things and that's yeah. so sweet, you know? Mm. Definitely a lengthy project, I think, despite its small size. Yes. Yeah, it's not going to be worth a, it. a quick knit. Yes, it, but look at the details. Like, look at even the little booties have the honeycomb mm. and the little ties. You yeah. can't believe the feet were that tiny, can you? <laughs> <laughs> and the jacket, like this one, thankfully inset sleeves. Mm. Because, like, imagine trying to decrease honeycomb. That's probably quite tricky, actually. Yeah. So, again, definitely, definitely not a mm. beginner's knit. We mm. can't stress this enough. Somebody saying, how adorable. And, yeah. no, you know, have some more experience. But at some yeah. point, people will be able to do this. Mm. But it is adorable. Yeah. Another, I think I have a hoodie as well. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, you have a little hoodie with a little the, hoodie. There's so the many sweet things on the, on the top, and the textured sleeves with the rolled cuffs. Mm -hmm. They're adorable. There's lots of details. Our buttons as well, mm -hmm. and the last thing is the little little vest. I mean, look at that. Oh, <laughs> they're so sweet, aren't they? Yeah. And I like the, you could do little side slit, slits here if you, you wanted, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you could just yeah. not sew right to the bottom. But so I love the way. honeycomb, like with the details mm. at the top and the yeah. little vest. It's yeah, just really sweet. The, this is my favorite, this, this set here. Mm -hmm. That's yes. why I saved it for last, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. And it does go up to, they, they start at a 12 inch chest and go up to a 20 inch. Yeah. So, so premature, premature to age two. To about age two. Yeah. Um, obviously dependent on the size of the child because yep. children all grow at different rates. Oh, and yes. Sizes yeah. and, and things, don't they? <laughs> yep. Okay. And uh, that's it. That's, oh, yeah. gosh, I'm like going through thick and I'm sure yeah. we talked about this. No, no, we've yeah. them all. Anyway, thank you for listening. So be sure to like visit our Facebook page and like us and show us your knits. So goodbye yeah, from we'd, me. We'd love to see what you've done on this. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.